Hello friends. Here the topic I am written cell division. This one is very important topic. So students before we start the chapter cell division, first of all we should must have a clear concept on cell. We all know the cell is basic functional structural unit of life. Just I am writing here. It is a basic functional and structural unit unit of life. Again, I am repeating this term. The cell is what? It is a basic, functional and structural unit of life. If I am saying that why the cell is called basic, functional and structural unit of life? This one is clear. Cell is basic as well as functional and structural unit of life. But my question is here, why cell is called basic, functional? So here, before we go further, why, uh, what the types of cell, who discovered cell? This one term is, we must have to clear here. Cell is called basic functional structure of life because each and every living organisms, either the plant life or the animal life, perform their metabolic function with the help of cell. Here I am telling about the term metabolism. Metabolism. Means what? This metabolism term means what? The life activities, the life process which is continuously controlled by the cell. How the question is here? What are the metabolism activities? Just take an example. Ingestion, digestion, reproduction, respiration, control and coordination. These all are the life process or you say the life activities which are continuously controlled by the cell. So that's why students, I am saying here, the cell is basic functional and structural unit of life. Here, the term metabolism is clear. Just I am saying metabolism means what? All the life activities. So, metabolisms of two types. One is catabolism. Second one is anabolism. Or simply you say catabolic or Anabolic. Catabolic is a breakdown process. This one is what? Breakdown process. It means what? Breakdown process means what? Just take an example digestion. Digestion is a what? Catabolic process. Why I am saying here catabolic process? Because you all know that digestion is a process in which the complex food broken down into simpler ones so that the cells or the tissue can easily absorb the digested food material within the body cells. So the digestion is what type of process is there? Catabolic process because the food whatever we eat that all food are very complex. So that's why I'm saying that very complex food broken down by various types of enzymes and finally it broken into a smaller ones so that can the cells can easily absorb there. So that's why I'm saying the Example, digestion there is what? Catabolic process. Second, respiration. Respiration is also catabolic process. So, in respiration we all know the oxygen oxidizes with glucose to provide energy to the cells. And then after it also gives some amount of carbon dioxide and the energy is stored within the body cells in the form of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate. So, catabolic process is clear. Second one is what? Anabolism means what? Formation. Just take an example. Breathing. Breathing is what type of process? Anabolic process. Assimilation is what type of process? Anabolic process. So here the metabolisms of two types. One is the catabolism. Second one is what? Anabolism. So I hope so that the, this first term is clear. I'm just uh, clear about all the things before we just enter into the cell divisions. Because before uh, we knowing about uh, uh, cell division, we first of all, we just would have to be clear. Just I want to be just clear all the things that uh, 
what the things came inside the cell division so cell division term before we coming this topic cell division we just we clear the concept here cell i hope so that the cell is clear again i am repeating here cell is a word it is a basic functional and a structural unit of life because all the life is made up of cell so that's why i am saying here the cell is a building block of life also as you know as friends whenever we make our buildings so what we required we required bricks we required cement we required concrete we have required rod iron rod etc and etc in the same way whenever uh, the body is made up of either the plant or animals body there is made up of their cells so that's why i'm saying the cell is a basic functional as well as the structural unit of life because all the metabolic functions are controlled by the cells so they have termed the metabolism is clear the life activities which are continuously we are just performing within the cells or outside the cells continuously so here the term metabolism is clear next term not the term here just i am saying about the discovery of cell discovery of cell as friends you might hear the name of scientist the name of the scientist robert hook robert hook you might be hear the name of scientist robert hook in 1665 in 1665 discovered about the cell discovered the cell in which year in 1665 year what is suggest that he suggest that the cell is nothing but it is a a uh, room like structures and this one is also known as bee hives so the discovery of cell is given by the scientist the name of the scientist is robert hook so after that the cell organelle is be there before we knowing about the cell organelle first of all we also know about here uh, types of cell types of There are various types of cell. Number one, on the basis of number, on the basis of size, on the basis of nucleus, on the basis of shape. So let me know one by one. First of all, on the basis of number, as you know, on the basis of number, there are two types of the cell. One is the unicellular cell. Second one is multicellular cell. As the term suggests, unicellular it means what? Uni means single, and cellular means cell. it means those organisms which are made up of one cell then is called what unicellular and what do you mean by multicellular multicellular means what those organisms which are made up of more than one cell if i am saying about the cell which is made up of more than one cell the organism which is made up of more than one cell just we take an example we all are the human beings which are made up of more than one cells that belongs to be multicellular organisms but when i am talking about the unicellular organism it means that the organisms which are made up of one so that take an example the amoeba is be there bacteria is be there paramecium is be there iguana is be there these all are the unicellular organisms here friends i am just telling you about the types of cell further the types of cell on the basis of nucleus two one is the prokaryotic second one is eukaryotic and this one is very important to know about the term prokaryotic prokaryotic here the mean, meaning of pro pro means what primitive pro means what primitive primitive and karyon means what nucleus it means what those organisms which has lack of membrane bonded organelles there is lack of cell organelles also there is not well defined cell organelles also just take an example all the unicellular belongs to the prokaryotic clear so this one is the first on the basis of nucleus i am saying second thing on the basis of nucleus second one is eukaryotic eukaryotic so what the meaning of eukaryotic eu means true karyon means again here nucleus so eu means what true nucleus now take an example multicellular organisms all the multicellular organisms whatever we all just take an example we the human beings belongs to eukaryotic animals 
because all the membrane border lysis with here just take an example mitochondria nucleus golgi bodies these all cell organs are uh, cell organelles are uh, membrane bonded organelles so on the basis of nucleus there are two so here is friends there are so many cell organelles is be here but there is no need to be know about all the cell organelles because in the standard 9th you know all the cell organelles their characteristics and their function but here before coming to the topic cell division we must have to clear the term uh, that not the term there are so many terms is there the organelle is there the organelle is nucleus so here just i am telling about the nucleus so what is nucleus who discovered nucleus and what the importance of nucleus in a cell divisions we know students nucleus is what nucleus is known as brain of cell you know why it is called brain of cell because it regulates all the cell organelles let's see let's see what i am saying here this is very important to know number 1 nucleus here the nucleus discovered by the scientist robert brown you always keep in mind robert brown robert brown was the scientist to discover the nucleus so here this one is the nucleus nucleus has double layered membrane clear inside the nucleus there is what nucleolus one if there is nucleus nucleolus then is called nucleolus if more than one nucleolus that is called nucleoli nucleoli is plural nucleolus is singular in between the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane there is a fluid jelly fluid termed as nucleoplasm just i am writing the name here here the fine thread like a structures also that is chromatic fiber here i am writing this one is the double layered membrane outer membrane outer membrane this one is inner membrane this one is the gap between the membrane that is called nuclear pore this is called nuclear pore clear the fluid is here the name of the fluid is called nucleoplasm here the fine thread like a structure which is floating inside the nucleoplasm the term is called chromatin fiber chromatin fiber or you say network network but this chromatin fiber during cell division it form chromosome this one is just i am completing this all name nucleolus here i am writing the term chromosome derived from latin word chroma plus soma so chromosome if anybody can ask you about the term chromosome then what do you reply chromosome is nothing but it is a what contains part of chromatin fiber which formed during cell division it is a condensed part where it formed it formed at the time of cell division so this one is the chromatin fiber when i'm just making this chromosome let's see it is a ribbon shape like a structure in which it is attached at a point the point is called centromere centromere here the two chromatids upper chromatid this one is chromatid this one is also chromatid and the two chromatids are attached at a point that very point is called centromere so how many types of chromosome is be there this one is also very important on the basis of the attachment of centromere there are basically four types of chromosomes one is the metacentric subcentric acrocentric and telocentric and uh, in details we know about the types of chromosomes in next video so here just to you know about the chromosomes what the chromosome is here
In next video, I am just telling about the chromosomes, types of chromosomes. Further, then we go to the topics, the topic that is cell division. Why cell division is needed? So in next video, I am just telling about the cell division. Thank you for watching me. Or lastly, uh, I am just told to you, whenever you just see my video, just you like it there, comment there. And always remember not to forget to subscribe there and bell icon is also be there. Just you have to wait, put their finger on bell icon so that you can get my videos. Uh, whatever I am just telling about the lecture of given either in whatever the subjects. Thank you for watching me.